Come on girls, let's go in and get milked. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome back to my channel today. Today is Monday, September, I think 21st today. Yep, it is the 21st of September. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great. And uh, it's a beautiful day, another hazy day out there again today. There's still smoke coming in from out west. But uh, yeah, anyways, I am just getting the cows in for more for morning milking here and uh, they just actually came back from pasture a little while ago and they're just cleaning out what's left some little bit of stuff that's left in their bunks here yet but it'll still be here when they come back well there'll be more in there better stuff but anyways what is on the agenda here for today for this Monday well we're not exactly 100% for sure what's all gonna happen today I mean we have planned what we'd like to do um today is we would like to try to move some calves around because they need to get moved because they're getting bigger and they need to they need to get moved up to a bigger pen so we have that plan will it happen i don't know we have to seal up that bag yet and clean the bagger out we didn't get that done in the last video i never showed that i got done and we still haven't gotten it done we're gonna do that here this morning or probably sometime maybe or early this afternoon but um, yeah, so we'll see if we get the calves moving around other than that We're just gonna keep getting things ready for we got to work at getting the silo ready for putting silage in there and It's still kind of too wet to put in the silo, but It doesn't mean we can't get it ready So there'll be things like that and it's kind of some other odd jobs we'll probably be doing here today and however long I run this video for so anyways well, let's see what happens here and uh We'll get the cows milked and then we'll see what happens for the rest of the day, what comes up. <laughs> yeah, um... I just came over here just to see if that thing was for sure still leaking. It's still leaking. I know I did a talked about it in a video last week, but I just finally call, I called the guy just to tell him about it. It's just such a tiny little leak on that thing. But uh, actually, the propane company they came and filled those tanks up last week, so it's cheaper to fill it now than during the middle of corn harvest. So. Anyways, he's gonna come back. He said he's probably there's probably a gas or a, an o-ring or something down in there He said it's got some dirt on it. That's what he said. So he's gonna come sometime here this week and and redo it, but uh, Anyways, I gotta get going with the feeding choice here and I don't know if we're gonna get any calves moved around here today or not, but <sighs> Sure is warm out though for almost the first day of fall bag there so we can uh, seal it up here later on my brother he is over there cleaning out the bagger right now and but I just needed to get some of the silage up here for the feeder wagon for the young stock here 
And uh, yeah, boy, you do not want to smell that gas. Just uh, opening up that bag a little bit and the gas came out. That gas is, well, let's put it this way. If you walked inside that bag and stayed in there, it'd be a matter of, well, minutes and you would be, you'd be dead. <laughs> Very, not very safe gas, that's for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna load the haylage on the feeder wagon for the milk cows now. But anyways, um, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have probably seen this corn crib here and always wondered what is the deal with this crib. Um, we used to store corn in this thing many years ago. There was a roof on it in the I know some gust back when I was a kid, probably in the late 80s, some strong winds took and blew the roof off. This is part of it here. This is the very top where the, the lid went on. Anyways, this bin or this corn crib, it was set up for like shelling corn out of it, especially. Um, you see that down there, you would run your drag line in there, put your sheller, and then your sheller would sit over there. And my dad used this many times to shell corn out of. But uh, yeah, it was set up for shelling corn out of. That's what my dad primary used to use this thing for was corn shelling. You'd pull up his things, but now we just kind of store plastic in here. That's we save up good pieces of plastic and store in here just for like if we need to cover a piece of equipment or something. Yeah, that's just so it doesn't blow away in the wind. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd. If you guys were always wondering about that. I thought I'd just quick share that story with you guys so you kind of know a little history about that corn crib there but yeah I don't know the last time we probably put corn in there was back when my dad was probably still alive sometime back in I take that back it might have been once after my dad died back in the possibly the mid 90s we might have did it once but yeah but anyways that's the story behind that I gotta put a little bit of water in this stuff here because it is the haylage on this thing is oh, that? it is bone dry. So run some water. Okay, I'm down here in what we call the silo room. And I'm gonna start working on the silo loader. I'm gonna get it ready to go up. So I'm just gonna Get it ready for transport mode. Let me shine you in here. I'm gonna get everything set so it's ready to go up, blow it off, grease it, and cover it with plastic. And then um, we'll go up. So, uh, ooh. I hate doing this job. I just, I hate, really do hate getting a sound loader ready to go up, but. This way it's ready to go, so as soon as we're ready to chop in the silo, we don't have to dink around with it. So, here it goes. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, I got the thing all done in here. Um, you're probably wondering why do I cover it up with plastic for? Just because when you're blowing stuff in here, um, otherwise you get all that silage that blows on the top of the blower, and it's wet sometimes, and it's very corrosive, and it just it just helps the light, the longevity, longevity of the. Uh, the unloader, that's all. That's the only reason I do it. So I blew it off, greased it, and yeah. I guess the next thing I gotta do is, well, I gotta put some of those doors back in there. 
And then I guess we could raise her up to the top, way up there. Well, um, I don't know how far we're gonna fill the silo, but um, we're probably not gonna fill it plumb full. That's what we did last year, but anyway, oh, I better see if I get these doors in. Okay, uh, the sound loader is going up and I got these doors in. I'm gonna obviously wait to put that door until last. And one thing I've been doing with the doors, since these doors, the, the concrete around here is getting eight and out a little bit. So I, I put some plastic up on a couple of these doors to help seal it up a little bit better, wrap it around. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys here. See it? Can you, yeah. Can you see it? Too? There. It's going up. Oh, yeah. But uh, oh, but I'll we'll put that in door in just before we we're ready to fill it. And that's the door right there. I'm gonna put some more plastic around that door. So I guess just making a good good use of the plastic. And uh, let's see where's the cable? That's how much is wrapped up so far. Um, it usually comes together. There's like three cables that will come together. I guess you probably can't see it, but yeah, they're right up there. Mm. Somewhere is up in there. And uh, yeah. Yep. So uh, that's what the deal is. So I'm going to at least run it up to those three cables. And then I think I'm going to finish up the rest tomorrow and uh, go from there. Oh, I forgot to mention too um, my brother, <laughs> he changed oil on the skid loader here this evening so that job is done so I almost forgot to tell you about that Good morning, General. And good morning <coughs> to you guys. It is another beautiful day here, and uh, um, I'm just down here in the silo room. We, and uh, that's attached to the barn, and we are just getting the cows in here right now, too. But uh, yeah, um, I didn't. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that last night, but I did not get this thing. Yeah, I did mention it, but I didn't get this thing raised up all the way here. So today we got to finish raising that up. It's got, uh, if I can get in here and look. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's about three fourths of the way up there. So yeah, so anyways, um, that's one of the things we're gonna do here today or try to do today. And, um, and then other than the regular chores here today, we're gonna try and um, those parts for those water pump, that water pump for the 40 to 40 should have come in, come in today. What's wrong with me? I'm all tongue tied here. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna plan to go in and get that. And if I get an opportunity, work on that water pump, get that back together. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to maybe get that done. Maybe we'll get the blower put on the silo and uh yeah we'll just see what happens here but uh first thing is gotta get those uh gotta get those cows milked
Okay, finally, I am getting to my feeding chores. Yeah, anyways, you saw all that stuff earlier. Um, I had to do some of my brother's chores because this morning when we were milking, our, our our agronomist, he called us up out of the blue and he said he was gonna be passing through here today. So anyways, he, uh, he came and so I had to do, like I say, do some of my brother's chores. And so I'm kind of running a little bit behind. I still plan on making a trip through town. Um, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna cut some of my feeding chores short. I, you know, I'm just gonna feed the young stock and then run to town and get that stuff. It's supposed to be in the, the parts for, the thing that I'm gonna get in town is that water pump um, repair kit. And then, another thing too is you've probably been noticing that we've been using another tractor to take the water tank out to the milk house. And I just took it out there early just because it's better if it's out there sooner. So that way as soon as you let them out, they go get water. But anyway, we, haven't been, we have not been using the A because that battery that was in the A is shot. It just, it was borderline probably ready to go out. And then when my cousin that one day when we unloaded straw, when he uh, turned the key back on and it stayed on all night, that was the final straw that broke the camel's back with that battery. And it did, it did, it needs to be replaced. It's actually probably four or five years old. I mean, yes, batteries should sometimes last longer than that, but Anyways, I'm gonna get that stuff when I go into town here, so uh, that's what's kinda, that's the scoop of what's going on. Uh, parts please. Nice warm. Oh, well, we're trying to. <laughs> it's a nice beautiful day to be out farming though. Okay, everybody, I am back from town. So, I made an unplanned stop at Runnings to get a few things that we needed there. But, our uh, main thing here is I got the water pump repair kit. So, I get this, get that thing back together. And, surprisingly, this battery, I stopped obviously in Napa there, as you saw. 
and this battery here um, supposedly it tests good um, so and I actually bought a diagnostic thing here for testing the battery so um, and we actually tried it there the at the Napa store tested it out and it shows the battery is good it shows it's a little bit low but I don't know so that's supposed to be what tells you if the battery's bad or not and he actually used another one there that he had as a digital one that's fancier than that one and he checked it and uh, it said it was good too so maybe what we'll do and let's put it on trickle charge and let it charge a little bit longer and then uh we'll stick it back in the model a and try it out and see how it works that's all we can do he was going to get a new battery in anyways you know they didn't actually have this size battery on hand but he was going to actually order another one just so they have one on hand in the store because you know you never know when someone's going to come in and buy one so anyways um so I guess I gotta get back to the feeding chores here and get that done and then we'd still I still like to get the silo finished raising all the way up the top um we'll see what we get down here yet it's I don't even know what time it is yeah it's about a quarter to six right now in the evening so we'll see what we get down here before it gets dark Oops, it come off up there. Okay, oh. oh. Yeah, I ended up doing some other stuff here before I started working with the feeding. But while I was gone to town, um, my brother Steve chopped some corn silage. We did not test the moisture on it, but it actually does feel drier. So. You can tell it's a little bit, a little bit drier than when we got done filling that bag. Was it a couple days ago now? Yeah, at least two days ago now. But you know the corn, it's it's pretty close. So I think tomorrow we're gonna try to start filling the silo. So, anyways, um, yeah. So that's that. Anyways. Let's, we're getting we're getting close to uh chopping the corn or getting working it filling the silo
Okay, we are done for the day. So, uh, cows are milked and calf chores are done. And uh, I'm tired out. Very tired. So, if everything goes according to plan, in the next video, you'll see some fill and silo. So, uh, yep. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get time to get this water pump finished up. Probably not. So, it'll be after we chop corn silage. Or unless we get a rainy day. But uh, the way it sounds, I don't think there's much rain in the forecast. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a chance to... A free moment to do it. It shouldn't take too long to get it together, though. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all the um, the likes and the comments and everything. I really do appreciate it. And and I guess if you don't like this video, I guess you're welcome to give it a thumbs down too. You can do that. And um, yeah. <laughs> so please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Have a good night. Take care. And I will see you in the next video.